Hmm. I'll try to get through it quickly. But I'll also try not to rush at the same time, because we know how that turns out, don't we? Wow, okay. I can- oopsie daisy. Oh. Fine then, I suppose. I learnt- I, I forgot that I could do this. Use monkey bars. Or I don't really know what, what- what action is this? Swinging? Climbing? I don't really know what you'd call that. Uh, yeah, I need to be on top in order to break those boxes. Although I think I can get on top of it from... No, never mind. I won't... I won't... I won't guess. I was thinking maybe I could get on top of it by jumping on the well. But... Cool. I, I wanted to test that theory, but I haven't yet come across... an ability to do it. That was That was pretty fun. Unfortunately, now I need to go back and get this box and then go back again. But it's better to be safe and have to come back into the level. Okay, just a few more crystals. That's not too bad. Now again, as per usual, we have a choice to make. The well or the door. I think I'm going to go for the well because we always come back from wells, don't we? Wells are just a little puzzle room. Oh. There we go. Well then. That was hard. Hmm. Very well. Now then. Let's try not to get hit by the flaming ball of lava fire death thing. That'd be good. Right, so what have we got going on here? Why aren't these logs? Oh, okay then. Well, I was just going to question why these logs are floating on lava and not setting on fire, but then this happened. So, I decided not to question it. Because apparently stranger things happen here. This will be a coloured one. There we go. Standalone crystal. Of course it's going to be coloured. There we go. Delicious. Right then. This level went quite well, I think. So far, anyway. What do we even have left? Ah, we've got three of those, and we've just got one more coloured crystal to find. So, just two more pow pows. Ah. What a lovely backdrop. Hmm. A box. A box. With a pow pow. What a great name. I wish humans were called Pow Pows. The Pow Pow Population. Sounds like a pop song, really, doesn't it? When well, I say pop, it could be any kind of song, really. It just, just, it just sounds like a song. The Pow Pow Population. Or maybe a group. Kind of like a, an indie house kind of music genre, perhaps. Yeah, I know, I know. Is there anything else? It doesn't look like it, does it? Okay! Puzzle time! I see mushrooms. And a rock. And water. Have we come across water yet? Can we do anything with these? 
No. Can we swim? <gasps> we can swim! Either that or we drowned. Did we drown? We can swim! Can we swim indefinitely? Although we are a crocodile. Yeah, I've only just clued on to that. Yeah. This music. This swimming is awful. Jesus. Oh, God. It's really, really bad. Really stiff. I don't like it. Oh, my goodness gracious. There we go. We're back on track now. Gonna have to come all the way back as to get the ones at the bottom though, which is annoying. Okay, so it's not too bad when you get into a uh, a rhythm. Right, I'm not gonna get that in case it's a trigger to end the level. I'm just gonna get these crystals first. This music is amazing. It's so eerie. Let's get that one on the way back. Same with that one. Knowing my luck, this pow pow won't be a trigger to the end of the level, and I'll have to come all the way back to the beginning. Which would be great, won't it? Oh dear. <gasps> oh my god! If he wasn't cute already, now he's got a little echo, and with the eerie music in the background, I just. I died inside. That was amazing. It sounds like I'm in his dreams. It's weird. That was odd. That was really weird. And I loved it. Goody, another life. I think. Oh, look at that. Uh, that was that was unfortunate. Three crystals off. Oh well. Right now there is a bonus bit. Oh, oh yeah, we've got to we've got to see the next boss, which apparently is a ladybug, ladybird even. <laughs> what happened to the mushroom? Okay, so. Boxer? I guess. This is just weird. Okay, is it is it this one? Must be this one. There it is. Cool. Handy. Alright. Another little oh. Don't get me. Right, so we've got a lot of lives in this one. Oh. This is dangerous. Oh. There we go. Okay, we've got a system going now. We go past it. Although, oh, this isn't good. Hmm. Alright, well, I think we're getting there anyway. Oop, that one's come back. I don't think they can get me. No, they can't. Goody! Cool, five lives. That's a David Sylvian song, isn't it? And it's five lines, I think. It's five lines. Not a very good song either, so don't bother listening to that. If you want a good David Sylvian song... Hmm, that's actually, that's actually a hard one. Um... Well, it depends when he's doing like standalone stuff, or when he's when he's in Nine Horses. Nine Horses was amazing. Money for all, banality of evil. Uh, the the the, uh, the what is it? The day the world stood still. I can't even remember, but it was a really cool one. But when it's when it's him, one of my favourites has to be Thermal. It's not really a song, it's more of a dramatic reading, but his voice just sells it for me. I love it. Cool. 
So, a lot of crystals in this one. I suppose it's to protect you from the boss. Is this another one? No, it's not. Never mind. That was neat though, hiding it with a with a rock. That was, that was pretty cool. Alright here. Dantinis, you don't stand a chance. No, you don't. Nice. Kaboof! Curse black. I'm sure that the voice actor for Croc is so proud. I would be. I would be incredibly proud to be Rock uh, to be Croc's voice actor. I have that as one of my grandest achievements. He doesn't really say anything, just, you know, a few little lines, punchlines, whatever. But that's about it. But it's still cute. And it's amazing. Okay, so we're we're boxing now. Is this is this like the other one? We have to kind of wait for him to tire out. Perhaps not, because he's he's not really running at a speed that's really very dangerous to me. Oh my! Boo! Oh! I'm confused. I can't. When when do I hit him? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what do I do? I d My... Do, do I use... No? What, what do I do? Am I supposed to dodge? And it, and it, no. If I touch him, touching him hurts me. Oh good, that that crystal's gone now. That's amazing. Oh, there we go! Ah, there we go! So he does tire out. What? Steady on, certainly. I mean, you only just learned how to box, like, a few minutes ago, didn't you? Ooh, ah, just a little bit. Ooh, ah, a little bit more. Seriously, where are these... Who, who are these people cheering me on? And why are they all, like, six? Come on. Come on. You're alright. Come on, then. Come on, then. Do another attack. Let's get this over with. Come on now. There we go. No? Okay. There we go. Did it! Brilliant. Didn't get any crystals, unfortunately, but that's not too bad. Okay. Adorable, but what about this ring? Where did it come from, and where's it going to go now? Is it just going to stay there? Cool! Next secret level. The Twisty Tunnels, or Twisty Turny Paths. I doubt very many people are going to get that reference, but if you do, kudos to you. You've been around for some time. Well, I say, you've been around. What I mean is you've been on my channel for a long time. And that takes some, that takes some effort. So then. Ooh, that was a giant key. Is it usually that big? Fair enough. So there's no... There are no pow-pows in these, are there? It's all... 
enemies, crystals, and keys, right? I don't think there's any coloured ones either, are there? Whoopsie daisy. Oh, that's stupid. I'm never going to get that extra life from, you know, th three levels, or two levels ago. I only need to keep three at the end of the level. If I can keep three, then that's good enough. Although, it's not really like I need any of these lives. I have 23. 23 lives. I don't even lose that many. Well, I haven't done so far, have I? I mean, I've only died a few times. Hmm. Very nice game. Not seen that yet. Heard before yet. I've not seen that before so far. That's what I meant to say. Hey, okay, what does... oh. Does that go up and down at some point? I guess so. Ah, there we go. Did it! Puzzle piece, not gonna touch that. Nope. Aha. So, what have we got here then? Hopefully not like the last time. Oh, it is as well! Well, thankfully there's only one in this one. Oh, come on. Come on, Croc. There we go. Yeah, thankfully there's only one in this one, so it's not going to be too difficult. Just need to get near enough for it to latch onto it immediately. Thankfully, he seems to keep the same momentum, which is in interesting. You'd expect him to kind of fly off as soon as I jump, but no, apparently not. Well done, game. For PlayStation 1, that's pretty good. Well then, I did this without falling off so far. That's an achievement. Goody! More lives! 25 lives by the end of this. Oh, 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 -ho. ah. Excellent. Oh, we're going to hear him scream as well. This is going to be adorable. <laughs> ah. Brilliant. Totally going the wrong way. Cool. I think that's it now, isn't it, for island for, for the first island? And another life. 26 lives. I don't need this many game. You're throwing far too many at me. Maybe I should just lose some, just for the sake of it. Ooh, look at this. It's all icy. This means there's going to be ice, obviously, and it's going to be slippy. And everybody knows that you know, s characters with no friction on the ground is a really, really bad idea. So we know that that's going to be really awkward. So yeah, first island completed, 100%. All the gobos, all the crystals, all the puzzle pieces. So that's not too bad. Considering I haven't played this in years, and this is technically blind, I don't remember pretty much most of these levels, I think it's going quite well. So thank you very much for watching, I really hope you've enjoyed set 2, and uh, join me again for set 3.